to construct a triangle ABC giving that the altitude is 50 millimeters, side AC 90 millimeters, side BC 70 millimeters. A graph of representation. The altitude is the vertical height of the triangle. Sides label the side A, B, C. Side AC, AC, 90. Side BC, BC, 70. So in this case, we have the vertical height, which is the altitude. We also have side AC, side BC. We don't know what side AB is. To construct this, we start by drawing a random length, horizontal length. Random length, horizontal length. Next step is to draw an altitude. A parallel line, <coughs> sorry, it's AB, equivalent to the altitude. In this case, altitude is 50. So at any two points on line, a given line, square two arcs, first arc, second arc. Next step is to draw our parallel line at the tip of both arcs. Next step is to identify where we want point C to be on this line. Let's use here as our point C. So here is C. Next step is to draw is to draw a side. AC. AC is 90. Open your compass to 90 millimeters. With C as center. Scrab an arc. With C as center. Scrab an arc. To cut the the baseline. Next, readjust your compass to 70 millimeters. Again, with C as center, square an arc to cut lines. C as center, square an arc, radius 70. At the point where the 90 millimeter arc cuts the line, label this point A. In like manner, at the point where BC arc, which is 70 millimeters, cut the line, label this point B. Next step is to join. B to C, join B to C, and point C to A, C to A, and also brighten up A to B, the distance between both arcs. That is it. That's how we draw or we construct a triangle when given the altitude or the vertical height and the two sides. I think I should label this. So I'm drawing my one perpendicular line, number two, and I'm using here as a 
gauge to draw my parallel line so that is my 70 millimeters and next tip here I'm using the long stroke on the set square to get a perfect perpendicular line to this line right here I do the same thing here Label this 90 millimeters.